truly a Mississauga-sized welcome. <laughs> Tiana for that wonderful introduction. I want to thank everyone in the video who said all those really kind, remarkable things. Thank you. <laughs> I want to thank Michelle Ann and Gil Moore for that incredible song, Fight the Good Fight. I'd like to thank the Grand Master for that fabulous lion dance. It's lucky, you know. We hope it brings us luck. <laughs> And my two beautiful Polish singers, Magda and Joanna. Weren't they fantastic? Well, my name is Bonnie Crombie, and I'm here because I'm running for mayor of Mississauga. And when I look around this room, boy, oh boy, do I ever feel good knowing that all are on my team. Wow. And what a team. Thank you. You are the face of the new Mississauga. This is it right here before us all. I love this city and I want to keep it strong. And tonight, I want to share my vision for Mississauga with you. All of us know that Mississauga is a great place to live, to work, and to raise a family. That's why you chose to live here, and that's why I chose to live here. With me tonight is my family, because with their love and support, I'm going to run to be your mayor, the next mayor of Mississauga. My mother, Veronica Sorna. Many of you know her as Bubchi. <laughs> my mother has been my rock, and we have been through so much together. I love you, Mom. Thank you. My wonderful husband, Brian. I think he's here somewhere. There he is. <laughs> Alex and Jonathan, they were supposed to walk me on stage. I think I lost them in the crowd. Where are they? Yeah, there they are, right there. <laughs> my daughter Natasha is away at school, but she's coming home this week, and I can't wait. <laughs> Two sons and a daughter, perfect family. Homework, laundry, groceries, soccer games, dance recitals. That's what our life was about. It was a lot of fun and a household full of love. Folks, Mississauga is strong. Strong communities, great families, diversity in business, strong, diverse population, just like all of you in this room. But to stay strong, we must be honest about our challenges. Dealing with traffic congestion, building transit, creating jobs, respecting taxpayers' money, and keeping taxes low. Wow. That's right. <laughs> to seize upon the exciting opportunities that lie ahead, we must have energy, the vision, and the long-term commitment to ensure our success. This year, Mississauga is 40 years old. Yes, 40 years old. And we have accomplished so much in 40 years. Much like today, Hazel McCallion faced significant challenges 36 years ago when she took over as mayor. But she brought the energy, the vision, and she made the commitment to seize upon the opportunities that were presented to her. And I want to repeat this. Mississauga did not fall into greatness. It took vision, energy, and the long-term commitment to capitalize on the opportunities. Hazel McCallion is our mayor. She's iconic and we love her. Let's hear it for Hazel. Oh, yeah. And it was through her vision and her energy and her commitment to Mrs. 
saw this long-term growth and prosperity that we became a great city. Mayor McCallion guided Mississauga from a collection of towns and villages, farmland and fruit trees to become Canada's sixth largest city. And she governed with the energy and the vision combined with a hard-nosed commitment to the bottom line. Our mayor punched above her weight when it came to dealing with Queen's Park and with Ottawa. The bottom line, Hazel McCallion had the energy, the vision, and the commitment, and she delivered the results. And we owe her and the team she built around her a large debt of gratitude. The strong leadership of City Hall has allowed us all to grow and to prosper in ways that other cities only dreamed about. And we must continue to stay strong because we're still growing. And along with this growth, we're also experiencing the pains that come with age. Aging infrastructure, traffic congestion, and the need to build more public transit. We need to grow our economic base so that we can generate more revenue from business to meet the needs of the city. And we need to keep taxes low and respect taxpayers' hard-earned money. I'm running for mayor because if there's one thing I am certain about is that I have the energy, the vision, and I am committed to you and to our strong future. opportunity to tell you a little bit more about me. As you know, most people in Mississauga come here from somewhere else. And that was certainly the case for Brian and I when we decided where we wanted to live, to work, and to raise our family. And we chose Mississauga, and many of you did too. Remarkably, over half of Mississauga's residents have lived in Canada for less than 10 years. Ours is a diverse population with many new immigrants choosing Mississauga as their home. I too am a first generation immigrant. With a name like Bonnie Crombie, I'm probably the most Scottish sounding Polish and Ukrainian woman you'll ever meet. <laughs> my grandparents and my mother immigrated to Canada after World War II through Poland from France. My grandfather served in a Polish division of the French army and spent five years as a prisoner of war. My grandfather taught me a lot about resilience and humility. He worked as a janitor for 40 years at the Globe and Mail and then he worked as a security guard. My grandmother ran a rooming house. My mother was a secretary. My grandparents didn't graduate from elementary school, and my mother didn't finish high school. But my grandmother and my mother, they taught me how to work hard and how to be frugal. And growing up, my family, we had to watch every penny and work hard for everything we earned. You all know this story because you've lived it too. And now I'm standing in front of you as a candidate for the mayor of our great city. And that's what Mississauga is all about. From janitor to candidate for mayor in just two generations. I worked hard, we all work hard. I got a good education and I've been in business. I ran local store marketing for McDonald's Corporation in five New England states. I was the Director of Corporate Communication for the Walt Disney Companies in Los Angeles. And I came back home, and I went back to grad school and got an MBA. And I started two successful businesses. And I know what it takes to start and to run and succeed in business. And it takes energy, vision, and long-term commitment. Raising a family and building successful businesses, that wasn't the end of the line for me. I wanted to give back to my community. As a volunteer, I raised money for the Credit Valley Hospital, 
for Arts Umbrella and for the brain injury associations of both Ontario and Canada. And I was thrilled when Mayor McCallion asked me to help her with her task force on the arts. And I was proud to become the vice chair of that blue ribbon panel. And as you know, on two occasions, the citizens of Mississauga elected me to represent them. Once in Ottawa as a member of parliament, and once again as city councillor in Ward 5. And during my time in public service, I have represented over 230,000 residents and businesses. That's over one third of our city that I have represented, that I have had the privilege and the honor to represent. <laughs> Folks, I know your issues. I understand your concerns. And I share your vision for our great city. I'm not long in public service, but I have the energy, the vision, and the commitment to get things done. And right now, Mississauga needs to remain strong. It needs a leader who can deliver. And I have a track record of delivering for our community, and I will get the job done as your mayor. This is an important election. The mayor's retirement leaves us with really big shoes to fill. My vision is to build more reliable and more fre frequent rapid transit so you can get to where you need to go faster. To relieve congestion, to get you to good jobs, and to reduce our commute times. And this includes an LRT on here, Ontario, an all-day, two-way, frequent GO train service on all three of the GO lines in Mississauga. <laughs> Just imagine, for a second, if the Milton GO line along Dundas and right through the center of Mississauga was, every 15 minutes, all-day, two-way, every day, Still now these people will be taking transit. A half an hour from the Bloor subway and a half an hour from downtown Toronto. Imagine if it then connected with an LRT that traveled up and down here Ontario, connecting Brampton to South Mississauga. We would be seamlessly connected north and south and east and west. And we would move people quickly and efficiently and reliably, giving them options for their daily commute. Gas today, I'm sure we all heard the headlines, is 1.1 cent away from hitting an all-time high, an all-time record in the GTA. So we can't afford to wait any longer. This rapid transit can be a reality. We can have rapid transit across Mississauga that would be more efficient, would move more people to more destinations than the Scarborough subway extension we've heard so much about. Toronto received two-thirds of a billion dollars, $660 million for this project. And while I don't begrudge them this, investing in a regionally integrated rapid transit system in Mississauga would be a sound investment. It would get people moving today. Mississauga gets our fair share of the transit dollars. And I'm the person who has the energy and the commitment to achieve this. My vision is also to grow our economic base so we can generate more revenue from business to meet the needs of our growing city. My vision is to run the most efficient city in North America, and yes, that means respect for taxpayers, and yes, that means low taxes. In fact, I was the first candidate in this race to discuss the need to find efficiencies by conducting an operational review of all our programs and all our services, 
as well as benchmarking Mississauga against similar sized cities to ensure that we continue to deliver good value for taxpayers hard earned dollars. In Mississauga, we speak more than 70 languages, and we come from over 150 countries. I think many of them are represented here tonight. <laughs> Every plane that lands at Pearson with newcomers bound for Mississauga is an opportunity to build bridges to a new country, whether it be China, or India, or Pakistan, or Poland, or another Eastern or Central European country. The cities of the past that have been most successful were the port cities, where people arrived from all around the world. They met each other, they shared their culture and traditions, they exchanged ideas, and they established trade and business connections back to their home countries. Well, Mississauga is the port city of the 21st century, but we arrived by plane through Pearson rather than by boat. And in the end, we need to make our diversity our strength. We need to leverage and capitalize on our diversity to build business. <laughs> Friends, that's my outline for my vision for a strong Mississauga. Improve rapid transit, economic development, and respect for taxpayers' hard-earned money. And believe me, that I have the vision and the commitment to ensure that we achieve it. Over the next six months, I look forward to sharing the details of all the specific policies and how together they will keep us strong. I would like to close tonight with a few final comments. I really want to spend this campaign talking about keeping Mississauga strong. I want to talk about policy, and I want to stay positive. But my opponent doesn't. And he thinks that somehow he's going to lecture you and me on experience, on attending events, and on respecting your money. Let me be crystal clear. I think an experienced leader would never charge the taxpayer $574 for a rack of lamb. Oh, that's shocking. Or $314 for a lobster dinner. Or expect a six-figure income for a part-time job. An experienced leader would not treat his public ex expense account like his personal checking account. Wow. <laughs> again, I will respect your hard-earned tax dollars. My experience has taught me the value of a dollar. My experience has taught me how to deliver for a bottom line. And my experience has taught me that you don't spend what you don't have. I will respect you. The people of Mississauga, whether your family has been in our country for 200 years or for 200 days. I'm not the career politician in this race, and I say that with pride. This campaign is not about me. It's about you and what we can build together. This is the new Mississauga, and now it's our turn and our time to put our stamp on this great city. Mississauga strong. Please give me your trust and I will give you my word. Energy, 
vision, commitment for a strong Mississauga. Thank you. when she lost the election that we expected her to win and won the election we weren't quite so sure about. <laughs> For my mom, politics was never about a career, but instead a chance to give back to the community in which she raised her family. Before she put her name forward on any ballot, we came together and had a family discussion. And during that discussion, my sister Natasha decided to take that opportunity to ask for yet another family pet. While my mother didn't initially welcome the added responsibilities that she knew would inevitably fall to her, our new blonde, half-husky Adonis would quickly find a place in her heart. On a family vacation to visit relatives, I was rudely awakened to the sound of my sister gleefully playing with our dog on the deck at some ungodly hour of the morning. When I finally forced myself to get out of bed and pour myself a cup of much-needed coffee, I realized that it was in fact not Natasha, but my mother, who was laughing and chasing baby Adonis around and around. This was especially odd for me because I had to brew the first pot of coffee this particular morning. And in the, fa in the Crombie family, you know, you just know that you are not allowed to talk to Bonnie unless she has had her morning cup of coffee, <laughs> or two or three. My mother has always been the rock of our family. She's always been there to revel in all our victories and aid in all our defeats. It will be a marathon campaign, but I know she can be victorious with the help of all of you here today. Yeah. Wow. As Mayor Molly work hard, she always has to make this city even better. I know that each of you will help her and work just as hard. I know that together we will knock on each and every single door in this city. I know that you're going to host events so that she can meet your friends and family. And I know that I can count on you to support her in any way you can and give what you can afford to. Whether it's a full donation of $750 or just $5, every little bit helps. I trust you'll spread her positive vision of a vibrant city on social media and to your friends. And if you don't know her well already, you'll come to know my mom as the hardest working, most energetic and experienced leader in this race. For three decades, Hazel has led our city. I know my mom has what it takes to be our next mayor. Her leadership and experience are second to none. This race is about the future of our city, not just the next four years, but about the next generation. So together we'll work hard for her and with her and make sure that she'll win this race. Thanks, now let's get out there and work. Woo! 